All right, David Hardy here. And after that mammoth video I recently did to do with the Amazon HD10 tablet, in which I also said I was going to show a couple of peripherals, as in a case and a screen protector, I'm going to try and flash through this and not let it drag on. So this is the video about the case that I bought for the HD10. Okay, so there's the case there inside its packaging. So what I'm going to do here is hurry up and open it up and put the tablet straight into it and then look at it when the tablet is in it so there's the case there now what I'm gonna do is just take out this packaging on the inside and like I just said I'll get the tablet in really quick let me just do this now and the reason why I want to put the tablet in first is, is it'll just make more sense actually to do this and then to show you what I think is really good about this case now unfortunately I've got the camera doing auto focus and stuff here so hopefully it's going to stay in focus as I do this now what it is the main bit on the outside here it's like one of those kind of soft touch plastic covers and stuff so I'll imagine this will kind of you know will hold up to a little bit of stick and what have you I don't think this is going to get wrecked in five minutes or anything like that it feels pretty tough now on the inside of that it's actually got like a lining. It almost feels like it's a cloth finish. It's not cloth, it's just however these things are done where they give you the soft lining on the inside. And that's obviously so when it closes over, it doesn't start scratching the screen on the tablet. And I think these things work really well. Now what I'm gonna do, I'll just close it back over again. Oh, in fact, as we can see there as well, as I'm opening and closing, the tablet's switching on. And the reason why is because there's magnets and stuff involved here. So not only does the actual cover stick down with magnets on the corners and what have you, but it also triggers the off and onness of the tablet, if that's such a phrase. <laughs> off and onness, what am I talking about? Anyway, so around the edges, I'll start with this edge first. Hopefully I can get a little bit of focus. As we can see, Wherever there isn't any need to have anything exposed, it is all covered. So the edge of the tablet there is completely covered. I think this might be going in and out of focus a bit mad here, but I think you'll get the idea. So that's covered properly. And the whole of this outside here, it's like a, like a very tough rubbery type thing. It's really decent. Now, on this long edge here, the only hole that's in the edge is here. And this is for the actual SD card socket and slot and stuff. So, you know, that'll give you access to there without having to take it out of the actual case. Now, on the business edge as it was, or as it is, what we have here are some holes. So for the headphone, the microphone, and the USB-C. And then we've got like these kind of like thinner coverings for the power there. And then also the volume rocker here. So again, everything's covered really well and probably more so is the edges here and it looks like there's a little bit more thickness or there's some kind of weird like ribbing and stuff on the inside here for the edges so i've got a feeling that something like this is going to give me a fair bit of protection what it is i've had other cheap tablets like these before and i've put them in them cases where they're basically exposed along the edges and they do pick up like little dings here and there and stuff like that also on let's see on the spine edge here this feels like it's a bit of a, like a leathery feel and stuff. It actually feels quite nice. Also feels like it'll take a little bit of wear and a bit of stick and what have you. But that's got holes in as well down the spines there, which obviously line up with the holes for the speaker grills on the tablet itself. So that's a real nice touch there. So basically overall, I think it's going to give the tablet a lot of protection. Also just on the back here as well, we've got a little hole up here for the camera. And then the back here as well, although it is rubberized, like a very hard rubbery type thing, this too has got like a little bit of a texture to it so it kind of helps as well like when you're holding it and stuff like that for it to not be slippy and things like that now let me just get the camera into a bit of an angle here because one of the best things about this case or what I think is one of the best things about this type of case is the way that it kind of folds up to stand so a bit of a crazy angle here but hopefully this is going to allow us to see exactly what I have to do to fold the case in order to make it stand up so what it is on the outside here 
it this has got like three panels there's a panel there a panel in the middle and then there's a panel at the bottom there so there's kind of a joint there and a joint there and a joint at the back so what happens this allows you to then fold that over on itself like that and then you fold it behind the tablet and then magically there we go it creates a stand for the back of the tablet now let me just see if i can show that from a different angle here so again we just fold it over like this and then bring it around the back and then that creates our support to put the tablet down like that okay so like i say quick video just to show you what this case was all about there's going to be links in the description for this there's also going to be links also to some other stuff to do with the tablet the unboxing of it some glass screen protector things and on top of that as well i will be doing a bunch of stuff to do with this tablet like the google google app store some games various other things like that anyways look i need to get off that quick now because i want to start playing some more call of duty on this tablet which actually plays really well on it anyways i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now